Hey everybody, welcome back to Rising World. We are uh, making our way back to the, the homestead. It is getting dark. I'm not super fond of dark. But, uh, if all we got is moose. <laughs> Not just one, but two mooses. If all we got is a couple of moose, I think we're fine. Just don't hit them, because then they'll probably kill me. And I'm really not into dying out here in the dark. There's our tree with our landmark. As you can see, it's starting to cloud up. It could start raining on us here in a little bit. So we're going to keep moving. And uh, we're going to see what happens if we get out here wandering around in the dark. I think we better be careful. We might even be better off having our, uh, our torch out. And uh, we'll see what happens torch will keep us from wandering into some um, crevasse and breaking our leg and dying in a crevasse that would stink so we won't be getting we won't we'll be careful about that Some of these stumps, I'm looking to see if they're going to grow back. I left them long to see if they would grow. Look at that crazy moon. So I guess it's safe to say that over here in this side of the... Uh, the biome we're relatively safe from night time critters I really don't see anything that's gonna try to eat us and that's good I'm glad for that very very glad for that and I don't see anything yeah this is good we're safe we're getting close to home I hear the sheep. That's not ours, of course. Uh, but I know we're getting close to home. It's just down here around the corner a bit. We got plenty of food. Some wild lettuce, I think. Or cabbage, or whatever the heck that was called. I wasn't paying attention. I was watching the road. Trying to avoid getting... Oh, there's some more potatoes. Really should figure out what to make with them potatoes. Trying to... Oh, I see a light. I think we're getting close to home. Look at that. We are getting close. We have made it to the homestead. Yeah, I think the map could reveal itself a little faster. So you wouldn't necessarily see things breaking up. But, um... It is good to be back here at the homestead. Let's see. We're putting all of our foods in this one. And we have plenty of extra food now. I don't think we need a whole lot of food. herbs carrots I think we could probably stop collecting food for now the plants must be in the bottom of this one the herbs I think we can make some medicine with the herbs well we had corn in there let's get rid of that corn into the food section Let's go ahead and drop all this in place. 
That is coal. Let's put it here by the metals. So we have plenty of um, plenty of stuff that we can build stuff with. We have stone and iron, more iron. Um, 64 is a good stack. We need to smelt some more. Here's some iron that we've been smelting. In fact, let's stick the iron in the same row. This is dirt and this is dirt. That's gravel. Aluminum, let's put that over here. What's this? That's stone. Let's put the dirt in the same aisle with the mud and the gravel. And then we have the uh, aluminum and we have coal. This is good stuff. Plenty of wood. I think we could probably take some of this wood and um, make some stuff with it. I want to know if we can make a bed. And I need to remember what it takes to make a bed. A simple bed would be nice. We need lumber and we have plenty of wool for a simple bed. Let's see. I'd have to make some cloth for that. Ooh, a bunk bed. Simple mattress. I probably should go with that. Uh, we need some lumber. So we're going to make lumber. Because we have plenty of... Um, we needed 24 lumber. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There. I guess we didn't put the log in our hands. It's probably in the box. Silly, silly me. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's make that. And then zip right over here to back over here. Sorry, not paying attention. Go back over here to beds and craft one bed. Now that we've made a bed, Let's take it inside our house. Let's place our bed. I think we'll just uh, place it right here in the middle of the floor. And now we're going to see if we can sleep in it. Good night. <laughs> awesome. Now we have marked, we can take our little tent down. We'll just leave it up there, you know, for posterity and all. And I think we'll go ahead and we'll make some more window frames just for kicks. Let's work on some windows. Let's see. Is this the window frame spot? Are there windows under the doors? No, I think they're under construction. Yes. We did a window frame with a cross in it. Looks like we did number D. We need five pieces of lumber to make one window frame. And we're gonna need, I think about eight, 16, Cranky Batman. 16, uh, 24. Let's say we're going to start with 24 window frames. So we're going to make uh, 24 times 5 is um, quick. Somebody do the math. 4 times 5 is 20, 0 to 120. Probably should have just been able to figure that out without much help, but you know, didn't work that way. So we're gonna craft 30. No, oh, we need 120 boards. 
Let's see if we can get this. Uh, we ran out of material. It's all right. We have more wood in the box. Let's grab more wood. And let's make another... Let's just make some win window frames now, since we have an, we have a bunch. Let's make um, twenty window frames to start with. Now. Here's my dilemma. These things I guess are two blocks wide. So there's one, two, three. See, I feel like if I start down here I could start, you know what I'll do? Uh, one, two, three. I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna have an extra spot somewhere. Let's put it in, let's see what happens. Guess we can always destroy them, right? Holy cow, look at that it fit so I feel like if I start here and I run over here and notice I cheated this time let's let's go like this and see if we get lucky again Rod turns to me and he goes, hey, by the way, Rick Cook says hi. And we're back. Hmm. I don't think it's going to fit, Lucy. I'm just not thinking it's going to fit. Let's open this up and grab something that we can break later and put it in the hole and uh, see let's put one right here and then let's uh, find a window frame and put it right there and let's see do we have one it looks like we would have room for one more slot so if we put our spacer right there put another window right there and then try putting another spacer in okay well that worked let's um find our axe and take our sp oh we don't want to do that with the axe that's bad juju what am I thinking oh, I need to go get my hammer again dang it look the sun's coming up put the axe back in here so we're gonna take these three out now because we can reuse them for spacers again when we get ready to do more. Now, of course, the end is the same. So what we will do is we will put the uh, block 
where the torch is. And the window. And the window. And a block. And a block. And another window. And we grab our hammer. We break out our blocks. We're going to put a window right there. <laughs> this is a long wall, folks. I don't know. I guess we could try this so we get all the way across. I don't think we will. We probably, yep, we could put one there and one there and it would be a window that would go between them. And that might be cool. We did not make enough window frames, but we did get some things done. So we got our bed. We got some window frames in. We got to find some sand to make glass. We need to get a lot more iron uh, cooked up and we need to make some things and we need to tan some hides to make some more stuff but I really I think that I think that um, you kind of got to say it's it's not half bad. All right. Well, hey, this has been awesome. Hope you've all had a good time. It's a pretty simple place. Maybe I'll put a wall up. Maybe we'll end up wishing we'd done that before we put windows up. But I guess we could put a wall right here on the window line. Put a door in and have an actual bedroom. A uh, living room and stuff like that. We could uh, create a sewing room right here with a door. And then, um, I don't know, what do we do next? We got a lot of ground. We could uh, maybe build a couple of outbuildings. And we could move all this stuff into them. I don't know. We'll have to see. In the meantime, certainly glad you came along. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Leave a comment if you like say something nice or don't um, but I do enjoy comments and I like to try to answer them so you have all you all have a good day if it is your weekend enjoy it talk to y'all soon see ya